again, I am back with another box, another romance box, love is in the air. <laughs> so I said I was going to put Bubbles and Books on hold, which I did, and then I got some free stuff, and then I got an email saying that the ownership was um, passing to somebody else. And that they were going to have some new ideas and stuff like that. So I figured, well, I got to try out the new owner's debut box. So I re-upped for this month, September, for Bubbles and Books. And here's their new packaging, and I like the stamp. Very pretty. So they're back in their box. So let's find out what's new with Bubbles and Books. So, they still have, let's see if I can get into this, they still have all three uh, categories that you can choose from. They still have their Luxe Box, which is their Paranormal Romance, they have their Bad Boys Box, and they still have their Swept Away Box, which is their Historical Romance, which is what I get, because it is my favorite genre. So, oh, okay, there we go. Let's do a first look of the new box. And it smells delightful. All right, got some tissue paper. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Ooh, I have an unboxing contest. So here's some more first to look. We got a lot of red stringy things. We got a Bubbles and Books bookmark. And it says, I still love to read fairy tales. They are just a little dirtier now. <laughs> nice. All right. Then we have an unboxing contest. Submit a photo of your box and all the wonderful goodies that came in it for a chance to win one free box. I'm down with that. So on Instagram and posting your photo, tag us as Soaked Romance and include Bubbles and Books and hashtag unboxing. Facebook, post your photo on your on your timeline and tag us. Make sure you're already liked you've already liked the Bubbles and Books page. When posting your photo to Twitter, tag us at Soaked Romance. And include hashtag bubbles and books and hashtag unboxing. About this contest, submit your photo before October 12th to be entered. Winners will be announced via Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram on October 15th. You must be a current Bubbles and Books subscriber on October 15th to be eligible to win. Winner will receive their November box for free. Not sure how to take a great unboxing photo? We suggest show all the items you received in your box, arrange your items in a creative way, utilize bright, natural light. So it sounds like, um, I don't know if you'll get October's box in time. Probably not, is what I'm thinking, because today is the 23rd, and that's when I got mine, so probably anybody who got September's box can probably enter into this contest, so. Good luck to all the entries. I will also enter, because that's just what I like to do. Oh my. Whew. Lots of interesting things. Where to get started? All right. We got a package of tea from Stash Premium Spice Dragon Red Chai. Hmm. It's caffeine free, which is definitely what I need these days because I'm having a hard time sleeping. Um, it's a herbal tea. Chai Rogue Dragon. A pice? Oh, that's probably another language. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so we got a package of tea. I love chai tea, especially now that it's fall. <laughs> and yes, chai tea for fall, best thing. All right, and then we got some gem and honey infused bath salt. Into the mystic. Pour in bath and relax. Quartz charged sea salt, Epsom salt. Biodynamic honey, frankincense, and 
Lang Lang Essential Oils, and this is produced in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, from the Wild Honey Apothecary. So there's that. Mmm, that's very nice. Has a really nice scent. Alright. Next, we have this cute little package. Liz and Nat All Natural Soaps. They have an Etsy shop, which I'll include in their description. It's very nicely packaged. It's Marmalade Cold Process. Coconut oil, olive oil, soybean oil, chamomile powder, shea butter, flower fragrance oils. Ooh, that's nice too. It's a very clean soap with a little bit of floral hints. And a little bit of tea. I can definitely smell the chamomile. Oh, that's nice. I like that a lot. Oh, let's open it. I want to see it. Even though I probably should like keep it in the package. I'm just curious. I can always tape it back up. will be shown off a little bit better. Open. Oh, that's pretty. I can get it open all the way. I hate ripping it. Ooh, nice. That's fun. That is a nice size bar. Look at that, guys. Definitely handmade. Oh, very nice. Oh, smells so good. Very nice. I like that a lot. So, yeah. I'm glad I opened that. <laughs> It'll be much nicer to show in pictures. And then we also got a candle from, from the page. I've gotten candles from them before. They are very nice. This one is Leather Bound Books. That sounds awesome. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice candle. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I could smell that all day. I wish you guys could smell them. Alright. Now it looks like we have the book. Our lovely nest of red strings. Which my cat Jasmine is eyeing as we speak. <laughs> Right. U.S. Today's best-selling author, Catherine Levicu, Levicue. It's a De Russe legacy. The Iron Knight, a medieval romance. Very nice. Nice cover. I like. Let's read what it's about. The Iron Knight, 1410 AD, battle-hardened warrior and favorite of the king, Sir Lucien de Rus, is called the Iron Knight because of his indestructibility in battle. An older knight, Lucien, is entering his 40th year and has seen a good deal in his lifetime. But having sustained fairly serious wounds in the most recent rebellions against Henry IV, Lucien retires his sword and Spurs, choosing to live out the rest of his life in peace. Physically, he has damaged goods and must heal. Mentally, however, he is already dead. Having lost his wife many years ago, Lucien has two children, a son who barely acknowledges him and a daughter who is a terror. Lucien finds no joy in life any longer, looking back upon an illustrious career admired and loved by the fighting men of England, yet inside he is hollow. It is this existence he has resigned himself to when the king, believing he is doing Lucien a great favor, pledges him to a very young heiress. When the girl and her father show up at Lucien's home, he makes an escape. Riding to clear his head, Lucien runs right into a robbery in progress. A fine carriage has been set upon by bandits, and Lucien knows he cannot turn away. Begrudgingly, the Iron Knight goes into action once more and saves the occupants of the carriage, a mother and her young daughter. 
Lady Sophina de Gournay is a widow riding to meet her intended when the big handsome knight with the long dark hair saves her from the outlaws. A simple moment of gratitude turns into something that binds her to Lucian far more than either of them realize. It's that wonderful chance meeting. A chain of events is started that could destroy them both. I like it. That sounds really good. And I have not heard of this author before. Oh, oh my. But she has written a lot. And this one's a fairly new release. It was copyright, copyright of 2016. Look at all those books. That's a lot of writing. So, yeah, if I like this book, I will definitely have to check out some of her other stuff. Um, she's got lots of medieval romance, looks like. <laughs> that seems to be what her favorite thing to write is. So, yeah. This looks good. I'm excited. So yeah, here's our book. For our new owner of Bubbles and Books, I think you did a really, really nice job. I um, really like where you're going with this box. I like that it's a new release um, by a well-established author. Uh, sometimes I like to get the books that are more indie related, but I like to know that I'm getting good material. So, with her being a best-selling author, that's always nice to hear. And then we got lots of uh, interesting goodies. I liked getting things that weren't just bath products. That was nice. I like the tea. And I like the candle. And then we still sticking with the full size bath products is great. I love that. That was probably one of my favorite parts of this box was that it didn't involve just like sample size products. You really got to test them out. And it's very packaged nicely. I like that it's the box again. It's very secure. I love the nest of red. And you get a bookmark with a nice little quote. Very well done. I'm impressed and I'm excited to see what you do with the um, future boxes. Unfortunately, I have to skip next month. October is very tight on my funds. Um, but I will be back in November. So, yes. And I'm still one of their ambassadors, so I'll put my um, discount code down. You can get 20% off. Uh, your first month and yeah I say check them out and check out I can't wait to see what the other boxes were so I'll, I'll have to look those up and see what they look like so yeah all right um I think I have at least one more box coming for this month uh, we did get an email about the Jane Austen box uh, it's gonna be late they had a really bad situation come up where one of the items uh, is no longer being shipped to them and they lost thousands of, thousands of dollars on this item. So that really sucks. I feel for you guys. Um, I will wait patiently for that box because I can't wait to get it. Um, but yeah, so that will probably go into next month, most likely. So yeah, I think I've got one more box for you guys for this month. And yeah, you guys take care. See you next time. Bye, guys.